Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates where today I am continuing a series called It's Fall Y'all. Now, it is including a lot of desserts because we love the desserts in this house, especially my husband. <laughs> so, okay, so I have a playlist down below with other ones in there and two of the favorites that y'all have liked were the apple pie cake and the pumpkin pie twist. So go check them out if you haven't yet. Today it is all about apple and walnut pull apart loaf. So easy and so delicious you guys. Just very few ingredients and I am so ready to get started on this one and I think my husband is too. <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and get started. Okay so the first ingredient we're going to be working with apple pie filling. It comes in a can and so what you want to do is make sure that this is chopped up really fine. So I'm just going to take out about half the can here. And there's always tons of recipes that you can use for the other half a can of pie filling here if you don't need it. So I'm just going to take a knife and then we're just going to cut these up really fine. Now with this loaf, you can use almost any kind of pie filling. So let me know down below what pie filling you would like to use in this loaf. Okay, the second ingredient I'm working with is the walnuts. Now these are like half walnuts, and so I'm just breaking them up into tinier pieces. <laughs> I have a thief in the kitchen again. <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm using right here, walnuts, and these are halves and pieces, so I'm just gonna make these all pieces. Love walnuts. Now, if you don't want walnuts in there, then you don't need to put them in there, but we like walnuts. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's my husband saying right now. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Now, I'm using a loaf pan here. It's about nine by five by two. I'm just going to lightly spray it with some cooking spray. Now, we're gonna take some grand biscuits here. We're gonna work with these two at a time because they'll make four layers. So we're gonna open this. <laughs> All right. We got two right there. Now what I'm gonna do is split these in half lengthwise. like that and there we go so you got four pieces here now what you want to do is take a glass and take the bottom edge of it and kind of smash these out about until they're doubled in size okay just like that now if you want to use your fingers you can use your fingers too now I have some melted butter here and I'm just going to lightly smear some on the biscuit dough. All right, we're going to take about one tablespoon of our apple pie filling that I chopped up really good and we're going to put it right in the center. Of each biscuit dough here. Mmm. Now the apple pie filling already has seasonings and stuff like that in there. So, but if you want to put more cinnamon or more like maybe some spice, you can do that if you want. But this has enough for us. All right, I'm gonna place some walnuts on top of the apple pie filling. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of brown sugar. Just a little bit, don't overdo it. Put a little bit on each one. All right, now what we're gonna do is take each biscuit and we're gonna place it on top of the other one. Very carefully. Kind of grab it from the sides there. And we're gonna build these all the way up to fours. Okay, we got my little tower. Now, with the pan, I've got a towel sitting here and I've rolled it up on the back end and flat down here. That way we can tilt the pan. 
That way when we put these in, we're gonna put them in. You want the side of the biscuit with nothing on it, and that's the one that's on the bottom, right there. We're gonna put it at the bottom of the pan here, just like that. All right, let's build the rest. Now layering this, these together in fours really help hold everything in them. If you try to do them one at a time and put them in your pan like that, it's not going to hold together very well. <laughs> and four seems to work out really good. Alright, so we're going to pick up the whole thing. We're going to put the one that's on the bottom on top of the other one right here. Did y'all see that happen? Probably not. <laughs> okay. Just like that. I'm going to do the other ones and I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, now on the last one, make sure that the bottom of the biscuit dough is on the side of the pan here. Okay, I'm going to take the rest of my melted butter here and I'm going to just slather it over the biscuit dough just on the top, just a little bit, to get the sides so they get nice and golden brown. All right, I'm ready to put these in my oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for 25 minutes. Okay, so after the 25 minutes, you want to pull them out, place a thing of tin foil over them. We're going to put them back in the oven for 20 minutes, and what that will do will further cook the biscuits on the inside. All right, so I've just pulled this out of the oven. We're going to take the tin foil off. Wow, doesn't that look delicious? All right, what we're going to do is cool this down for just a few minutes. I'm going to make a delicious vanilla icing for it. It's only three ingredients, and then we're going to put that on here. Guys, I'm ready to dive in. Look at those layers. Pull apart loaf. Okay, to make the icing, I've got one cup of powdered sugar. I'm just going to put it into a small bowl. We're going to add about two tablespoons of milk. I'm going to start about half of that and hang on to the other half for just a minute. And then we're going to add about one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to estimate here. We're going to whisk this till we get a nice consistency that we can drizzle. All right, I'm going to add a little bit more milk, just a tiny bit. A little bit goes a long way, y'all. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take my serving platter and kind of hold it up just a little bit. Bring my pan over. Now, make sure you get a spatula and just kind of loosen it up on the sides to make sure that it is moving in there so it'll come out. I'm going to place it on my platter. There we go. No, no. Okay, look at that beauty. <laughs> All right. I got my glaze here. Let's go ahead and glaze this up. We'll let that icing get into all of those layers. My, my husband is not going to let me be the first one to be pulling layers off of this, guys. I don't think so. <laughs> he is going to, he's right now. He's going to be nice. What? Go with this oh, show them on. that. Look at this one, you guys. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> oh, all those apples, the walnuts, that butter, the delicious glaze. And I cheated. Oh, I got two of them. He did get two. <laughs> okay, he's going to take a bite. 
Mm. Oh my gosh, look at that. Mm. Oh, that's mm. so good. Oh my god. I think you got top of my head cut off. There we go. <laughs> there he is. You guys, when you put it in the oven for 25 minutes, you want to get that golden brown color on them. Cover it with tin foil, and that that kind of locks in everything and finishes cooking the biscuit on the inside. And guys, look at that caramelization. Oh, they good. It is delicious. Oh my gosh. Okay. You put the ice cream on this thing. You... Who's gonna go get a can of biscuits and some apple pie filling? Guys, you can even do any kind of pie filling with this. If you want to do pumpkin, okay, try it with the pumpkin. Oh my gosh, it'd be so good. All right. <laughs> She's still eating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up. Make sure y'all comment down below and don't forget my thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. This is a playlist for my seasonal show called It's Fall, y'all. Go check out the rest of them. Uh, we will see you on my next episode.